Just thought I would shoot a little extra video here. Um, it is pouring rain right now. This is the day after um, my walk around video. I told you all then that we were expecting some rain. So, this is the Wissy filter in action. See the water coming in, rolls around, and it just goes right through the screen. A debris gets caught on the screen and slowly gets washed out. You see a little bit of water dripping off the screen, but most of the water flowing through. So just to give you an idea of how this thing flows, water's coming in here, swirling around. The output goes through here. You can actually see it in here. Okay. And that is filling this standpipe, which will go down and distribute among all three tanks which are connected. Now this one's full and already shut off, so we're not filling that one right now, but these two tanks are currently filling as it rains. And when the water level gets up to the point where it's full, it will fill this up to here, and then it will tip over the edge and go out to the drain. Right now, we're catching every drop of water. So, you can see the type of thing that this filter catches. So I can stick you guys right down in there. It's leaves, particles, tree buds. It's springtime right now. Little bugs. Very fine screen, but you see the water just flows right through the screen. Amazing filter. It costs about 500 bucks. We got it from Rain Brothers, so big shout out to them. They were very helpful. Um, but uh, it's, it's really a good system. Oh, the other thing I forgot to show in the other video was the power for this pump. Um, so, just a quick view. This battery charger plugs into the wall right in that outlet keeps this battery charged and I can swap it out because it's just clamped on here with clamps so that's the charger itself this is the power going over to the uh, pump and that's just 12 volts so we have we have this battery here in case the power goes out we have quite a run time on that battery before it uh, runs out so just a quick update um, oh yeah one more thing in the winter time, we do run heat tape. Now, you know, that does take some power, but that is one of the downsides of having exposed plumbing and above ground um, cisterns. If it gets cold enough for long enough, even this solid, even the center pipe will freeze up. So then you're stuck with just the capacity of one of the tanks that you're drawing from. But a little heat down here, and maybe some insulation in the walls. These are just steel walls, so. A little bit of heat down here would keep that from happening. It does not freeze up until temperatures have been in the teens for a couple of weeks. So we're pretty good there. But that, that pipe, that pipe going upstairs, that will freeze pretty quickly. So you see we've got it insulated. Insulated with tape and then with one of those uh, pool noodle type insulators and heat tape inside of all that. So we're not running it right now. Obviously it's springtime. It's getting on summer. So. Um, that's what we do. Try to keep things from freezing out. Thanks for watching.